to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today I'm going to show you guys how to make a large bug plush. I know you guys really enjoyed the centipede and yes I know that was an arachnid not an insect or a bug but close enough for this video type genre. I'm trying to make it kind of a series and it, there's not as many arachnids as insects and bugs so we're just going to kind of mash them together and to make one giant bug pile. <laughs> Anyways, today's video we are going to be making a large plush ant. I really hope to keep making these projects because I want to make a praying mantis or a dragonfly or whatnot. I just got to figure out how to actually make them stand up on those tiny little legs instead of laying on their belly because I think they would look a lot better if they had a frame to hold them up. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, so to start on the sewing for our plush ant, I'm going to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to work on the abdomen first. If you don't know how bug parts are labeled, the abdomen is actually the very back end of the ant. You would think it would be the middle, but that is actually the thorax. Anyways guys, this is the pattern that I drew out for the abdomen. Now after putting this piece together, I realized that I actually didn't like how the abdomen came out, so I ended up redoing it. But the sewing for it is pretty much all the same, so I'm going to show you how I put this piece together, and then I'm going to show you how I changed the shape of it to get a better shape. To add some extra detail to it, I drew some lines on the back of the fabric and I'm going to follow this with my sewing machine. I'm going to do this to all four pieces. After that, we're going to start putting the pieces together. So I'm going to start by taking two of them and I'm going to pin them together and we're going to go down one of the sides. After that, you're going to grab another one of the pieces for the abdomen and you're going to sew that to one of the sides. You're going to keep doing this until you have all four pieces together. And that's pretty much how I did the sewing for the abdomen. Now we're going to move on to making the thorax. Okay, so the thorax is going to be put together very similar to how the abdomen is. So you're going to need four pieces. I'm going to make one of these pieces a different color because I want to change up the way the body looks. So I'm going to be working with blacks and reds. And again, the thorax is the middle of the ant. So this is where all the legs are connected. So you'll notice on the pattern I drew out little slits. And those are where we're going to connect the legs later. So I'm actually going to be cutting holes into two of the pieces that we're going to use to make the thorax. So I have three red pieces, two of them have lines drawn on them, and one black piece. So I'm going to start with the black piece and one of the red ones that has the lines drawn through it. So we're going to pin these together and we're going to sew down one side. And then just like the abdomen, we're going to grab another piece of the thorax and we're going to sew that down one side and we're going to keep going until everything is connected. The only thing different with putting the thorax together is those two red pieces that have the lines drawn on them. You need to make sure that they're on opposite sides when you're putting everything together. Okay, so we just need to flip this right side out and I'll probably cut the holes for the legs a little bit later. So right now we have the thorax and the abdomen finished and now we're going to move on to making the head for the ant. Okay, so for the head, I have this pattern drawn out. This is going to be used for the top and the bottom. And then I have this little triangle over here. This is going to be for the sides. That way the head isn't perfectly flat. Now you'll notice that I have the shape of the eye drawn out on one side. So I'm going to fold my pattern in half and I'm going to cut this out. That way I can lay this onto the fabric and I can trace the shape of the eye onto the fabric. Now to make the eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them out of felt. So I'm going to lay some felt down and I'm going to pin this to that felt. So all we have to do now is sew along those lines to sew the felt into place on the top of the face. After we're done with the sewing, we're going to cut the extra felt off of the face. Okay, so the top of the face is finished and now we're going to move on to putting it all together. So I need to add those little triangles to the sides first. So I'm going to pin them to the sides of the face and we're going to just go along that with the sewing machine. And then after we have that connected, we're going to add the bottom of the head to the piece. So we're going to pin that piece into place and go along the whole head with our sewing machine. 
Now one thing you'll notice is I don't have the pincers of the mouth cut completely out and that's because it's going to be just a lot easier to sew that first and then cut around it. Okay, now I just need to flip the head right side out and now we're done with the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And now we need to make the legs for our ant. Oh, I almost forgot we need to add the antennae to the ant's head first. Okay, so we're gonna do that really quick and then we can move on to making the legs. Also, I have this little strip. This I'm gonna use to connect the abdomen and the thorax together so there's a slight bit of a gap to make it look a little bit better. So that's what this little strip is for. And then these are the antennae. Now before we sew these together, I'm going to use my sewing machine and add some lines just like I did with the abdomen. So I'm going to add lines going from the very bottom of the antennae and then I'm going to keep going until I get to that little bend and I'm going to stop there. After that, I'm going to fold these in half, pin them into place, and then sew down the side. Then we can flip them right side out and add them to the head. Now to add them to the head, I'm just going to flip the head inside out and I'm going to mark where I want the antennas to come out of. And then I'm going to cut tiny little slits for them to go in place and then I'm going to sew those into place. I'm going to sew around the opening instead of just across it. That way there's an opening to the antennae and then I'm just going to run some wire into the antennae so they hold their shape. Okay, now the head is actually done and we can move on to making the legs. Okay, so this is the pattern that I drew out to make the ant's legs. I have it into two pieces. The piece on the left is the part that's going to connect the legs to the body, and this part I'm going to have red, and then the piece on the right I'm going to have black. So to make all six ant legs, you're going to need six left pieces and six right pieces of both pattern. For the red parts of the legs, I'm going to be sewing along both of these lines. I'm going to leave both ends open, that way we can flip it right side out and we have a way to connect it to the body. After all of those are sewn, we're going to flip them right side out and then we can move on to the other part of the leg. So we're going to pin all of these together and we're going to follow the line all the way around the foot. There's only going to be one opening to this and that's where it's going to connect to the red part of the leg. So it's kind of like a really thin sock. Now because the bottom half of the legs are extremely thin, I'm going to be using a wooden dowel to help flip these right side out. Okay, so here are all the different pieces that we need to make our ant. I've got everything pre-stuffed except for the thorax. So the first thing we are going to be doing is that little band that I said we were going to connect the abdomen and the thorax to. I'm going to sew that to make a nice ring, and then we're going to sew that to the abdomen. After that's in place, we're going to sew the thorax onto that ring as well, connecting the two pieces together. So after I have the thorax in place and I have it lightly stuffed, I need to add a bit of wire to the body so it helps hold its shape. So I just kind of made this random shape that I thought would be best for our ant's body. I kind of have each segment have its little own circle. And then we're just going to run this through the thorax and into the abdomen. After we have that in place, we can sew on the head. Okay, now we need to add the legs to the body, and the legs are going to need some wiring as well so they hold their shape. So I used my measuring tape to measure the length of one leg, and then I doubled that measurement to make the length of the wire, because each wire is going to run through two legs. So I bent that wire in half, and I'm going to run half of that wire through one hole in the thorax and out the other hole on the opposite side. So now that we have our wire in place, we're going to start putting the leg pieces onto that wire. So I'm going to start with the red pieces, I'm just going to run the wire through it. I'm then going to sew this to the body, and then after we have that in place, we can add the black part of the leg. So we're going to run the wire through that and then connect it at the joint. I'm going to do this to all six of the legs. Okay, now that our legs are finally finished, I'm going to replace this abdomen with a lot better one. Right now, my ant looks more like a termite than an ant, so we need to fix that. 
So the problem with the original pattern was I made it too short and I rounded it off too much at the end. Because we're using four pieces, that doesn't really work. If we were just using two pieces and sewing them together, it'd keep that kind of shape but be flat. But because we're trying to get something rounder, we need to actually make this piece a lot longer. So you can see the new pattern is a lot longer and it's pointed at the end. This should fix the part at the very end that looks like the butt's just kind of tucked into itself. So this is our new abdomen. It's a lot bigger and I think it looks a lot better. So we're just going to sew this onto the body and then we are all done. Okay guys, and that's how I made a very large plush ant. I had so much fun making him. I really hope you enjoyed today's project. If so, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Oh, you suck. Ex what? Excuse me? I said you suck. You think you could do better? I think I'm doing really well for my YouTube channel. How about you just let me take really? over? I could do so much no, better. No, you cannot take over. Oh, like you could do anything to stop me. You yeah, just try me? and stop me. I'll, I'll put you on my Etsy shop. Ow, that's my hair. Well, you're bending my proboscis. You don't have a proboscis. Ow, my eye. Hi guys, my name is Anthony. Welcome to my channel. Bubbly Leaf is going to be away for now, but she said I could take over the channel for a little bit. So I figured, how about we just change everything up and we do a daily vlog channel. I thought you guys would like to do a follow me around where I show you my job working for the queen digging tunnels. We can get leaves together. I can even introduce you to my new girlfriend. We can do a collab. She has a makeup line made completely out of bark. Oh, my head. Anthony, you bit me. Yeah, I bit you. You almost broke my leg. That was really uncalled for. If you want a YouTube channel, you gotta work for it and go get your own. You can't just steal my YouTube channel. Get out of my seat. Don't you touch me. Quit putting up a fight. Get out Let of my seat. Let go of me. <sighs> Put me down. My fans, they need me. Messed up my camera and everything. Oh my god. Oh, I'll just work with the camera low like this for now. I'll fix it later. Sorry guys for the ending. I don't know what's wrong with Anthony. He has no manners. He needs to learn to be a little bit more respectful. I'll have a talk with him. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's project. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!